Now, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the unmounting phase of the React component lifecycle. We already learned the mounting and updating phase of the React component lifecycle. This is the last phase of the React component. There is only one method inside this unmounting phase, which is component will unmount. The component will unmount method allows you to execute the React code when the component gets destroyed or unmounted from the DOM element. So basically, when you remove or destroy your component from the UI, the component will unmount hook will automatically execute. Let me show you a very simple example of component will unmount. So I'm going to just create a new file inside this API. Then I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it unmount.js. Here I'm going to create a simple React class component and I'm going to use this unmount inside my index.js. Let me get rid of this updating. Pass here unmount. Back to my unmount.js and here I'm going to create a simple example. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new component down here for destroy. So just down here I'm going to say class component1. I'm going to specify name to this component component1 and I'm going to say here extends react.component just like this. Inside this I'm going to just call my component will unmount method. So I'm going to just see here component will unmount. And inside this method, I'm going to say console.log and simply print a message, which is the component is going to be unmounted. So once I specify this hook inside this component, just down here, I'm going to simply call a render method. Otherwise, you will get an error message because every component should have a render method. Inside this render, I'm going to simply say return. I'm going to return h1 heading tag. Inside it, I'm going to say unmounting component. Just for that, let me just use this component inside my unmount. Inside this component, I'm going to create a simple state and specify false value to it. So when I click on the button, I'm going to change the state value and destroy this component. Let me show you what I want to say. Here inside this component, I'm going to simply create a state. Now, if you don't have any initialization or any extra code in your constructor, then you can simply add your state outside of your constructor. Let me show you. If I just specify here state is equal to and in the curly braces, if I say display true, then this is also a valid React state. React will automatically add this state inside a constructor with this keyword. So before this state, I'm going to have here invisible this keyword and React will automatically add this state inside a constructor. So if you are not using the constructor in your component, you can simply use state outside of your constructor. Let me just add here inside this division tag, I'm going to create here a button. To this button, I'm going to say delete the component. To this button, I'm going to specify on click is equal to and in the curly braces, I'm going to say this dot delete. As you know, I'm creating an handler function for this on click event. So at the top right here, I'm going to say delete is equal to and in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass here an handler function. So I'm going to just name it delete. Inside this delete here, I'm going to say this dot set state. I'm going to change the state value using this delete handler function. So inside it, I'm going to specify curly braces and say display false, just like this. So what I'm going to do is when I click on this button, I'm going to change the state value to false using this set state function. Just out of that, inside this render method just down here, I'm going to create a variable called let comp. Comp means component. And I'm going to initialize this variable with this component one. So just down here, I'm going to say comp is equal to, and I'm going to just call this component one. And I'm going to just close this component. As you can see here, I'm going to just initialize this comp variable with my component. Now I can use this comp inside my JSX to print this h1 heading tag. So just down here, I'm going to add here curly braces and say here comp. So I'm going to just simply print this component inside my JSX and just out of that, what I want, when I click on this button, I want to remove this component from my JSX. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just wrap this component statement inside the if statement. So at the top, here I'm going to say if, inside parenthesis, I'm going to say this dot state dot display. As you can see, the initial value of this display is true. So when the render method is called, it will call this if statement. So inside it, I'm going to just grab this line and paste it here. So when the component is mounted, it will just print this component. 
But when I click on the button, it will just change this display value to false and React will just initialize this variable without this component. And this will just simply remove or you can say destroy this component from this JSX. Now let me just save this file and try to execute it. Now when I reload the browser, you can see I'm going to have here unmounting component and at the bottom I have here delete the component button. Let me show you what happened when I click on this delete component. When I click on this delete component button, this will completely remove my component from the UI and I'm going to have here a console message which is the component is going to be unmounted. You can notice here I have this message inside this component will unmount. So when the component is unmounted from the UI, the react will call component will unmount method. Make sure you have this component will unmount inside the destroyed component. So you can notice in your example when the component is destroyed or removed from the UI, React will call this component will unmount hook. Let me reload the browser and show you the example again. When I click on the delete component, this will remove this component from the UI and I'm going to have here the component is going to be deleted message. Now the question comes in when I can use this component will unmount. The component is unmount method is the last function to be executed immediately before the component is removed from the DOM. It is generally used to perform cleanup for any DOM elements or the timer created in component will mount. You all know in the previous examples I use set timer in component will mount method. I can clear that timer using this method. As well as you can just implement the server side logic before the actual rendering happen such as making API calls to the server. So if you have any cleanup inside your component you can do that inside this component will unmount hook. So I hope you understand how to work with component will unmount hook in the react application. Next we'll start with a new topic.